What's up guys? Alright, I'm just uh, completing a uh, two system complete change out. One in the attic and one in the basement. I did the other one in the attic. Uh, started Tuesday, finished Wednesday. And started ripping this one out yesterday, Wednesday, and today is Thursday. I'm trying to finish it up today. But that's not why I'm recording. Um, last night on the Cowboys of HVAC podcast, so, um, they had a hangout giveaway last night and there was discussion in the chat and and um john had a question of people that use one hose on a vacuum pump um that's what i typically do is one hose um the large hose connection here run it down to your suction of course and then uh, to the valve core remover and then i have my mini blue vac on the liquid so I will turn this on and I will time it and keep you updated. Um, it's just a preference thing. Some guys never seen it done. Some guys don't think it works or, two, or the other way around. Two hoses is not the way it right. I'm not sure. This is just the way I like doing it. So let me uh, turn her on and start the timer. Start. Start. Oh, why aren't you working? Stopwatch. I'm going to hit pause and I'll get back to you guys in a minute. Minute 15. We are moving pretty fast. This line set is not long. Goes through the basement wall here. And the furnace is maybe five feet in front of the wall. Not bad for one hose. If you guys looking for a cheap um, quality vacuum micron gauge, this thing, this little bad boy is nice. Small, inexpensive, and good quality. Almost 230. We're already down by 600. I let this thing go. Let me step up. This back and pump's noisy. I let it go. I mean, I'll go downstairs and start doing other things. It'll come out. Like, uh, for instance, the other day, I let this thing just run and then came out. It was at like 100, 120 something. I um I closed the valve it off and timed it for over 12 minutes and it it stuck at 165. But pretty much just wanted to show the guys, cowboy guys, and who else. I don't know. My theory about it is if you have it on a liquid line, the micron gauge. You're pulling a suction, obviously. 
it, it's a true test because that's the last point and that's the beginning point. Um, that way, I'm, I'm not sure if you have two hoses on it and are working against each other. I don't know. I always just like this way. I, I'm larger systems, long line sets. I, I will run two hoses. I have two of the big hoses, or I'll run a little one on top to the liquid line and leave that one on the suction. But Let's see our time now. Four minutes. Three hundred. Came back outside to check it. Down to 88. Now I'm gonna valve it off and um, and time it for a tightness test. So. Come back in ten minutes or so. All right, ten minutes. Ninety-seven. That's good enough for my book. All right, guys. I'll check you on the next one. Hope you liked it.